This is Courtney Rowland for Aggie Yell TV. I'm at Reed Arena where the Texas A&M National Champion women's basketball team is about to arrive back into Aggieland. And as you can see, fans and students showed up to show their support. The Aggies have been the underdogs the whole tournament, so how does it feel for them to come out on top? Um, it feels awesome. I mean, as an Aggie, like, we get that a lot. So, I mean, going into the women's basketball game, like, the championship, the Final Four and everything, it's been just more and more fun every game because we just, you know, not everyone expecting us to win, but as Aggies, we are expecting us to win. Like, we're excited about it. And um, the Stanford game was awesome and even better. Last night, Nerda Dame, like, nobody thought we were going to win. And when we did, like, like we, in Aggieland, everything was crazy. Like, you couldn't get in to eat anywhere. Like, everyone was watching the game. And honestly, it was just a positive vibe the whole time. Nobody had, like, a doubt at all. So it's just awesome being an Aggie. And it's even better coming out on top. So. campus and how excited are students about the girls winning the national championship? Oh, students have been very excited. A bunch of people have been like grabbing the battalion and just reading all about it today and just it's been like a probably like a 24 hour long celebration up before the game like on campus and then on Northgate to watch the game and up here today it's just been crazy. Everyone really excited and then here at the the when the uh, the girls came home and we welcomed them. It was packed and it was just really awesome. Y'all, we appreciate the support so much. Y'all don't even know, you know, how difficult it was for us going throughout this tournament and knowing that so many people on TV and all around the nation weren't believing in us, didn't think that we could get to this point, but we knew that we had the support of the Aggie Nation, the Aggie family, and you know, we could feel the spirit with us. You know, even when y'all weren't there, um, y'all helped us to pull it through and y'all helped us to win this national championship whether you know it or not. Um, for those of y'all who have been with us since the beginning, um, you know, since Coach Blair got here and they were losing and it was hard to watch, we appreciate y'all. You know, everything that y'all have done for us is, is appreciated great and um, I hope y'all continue to support the team and you see that women's basketball really isn't all that bad. It can be fun. of the tournament, our first All-American, to mark Friday morning, her and Sydney Colson will be leaving for Stores, Connecticut. Sydney was invited the, the afternoon before we played the state championship game, but they're going up to the WNBA draft where they only bring up 17 or 18 kids. has done the work. She's done the work in the weight room. She's done the work on the track. Before she's come to the basketball arena, she's done the work in the classroom. She knows what it's like to pay the price to be a student athlete here and to play the system that we play here. She could have went to other schools that wouldn't have played the type of defense that we played. She could have went to other schools where she could have been allowed to shoot the three or whatever she wanted. 
at halftime last night, I told her, quit shooting the damn three, get it into the paint. I want to say thank you for the opportunity and giving me the chance and just thank Texas a and and this is everybody's trophy as much as it's ours. And thanks again. As coaches for all the other sports, we just like to thank the football staff for allowing us to bring recruits in and sit there and watch games at the highest level because if we can get a recruit on campus, we will get them almost every time because of that. When we look at our new defensive coordinator in football, Tim DeRuder, who did just an outstanding job. Did such an outstanding job. Defense rebounds win championships. My grandson and my granddaughter and she were all young at heart, and that's what I want to do in the middle of July. I'm going to Disney World. I just hope they pick up the ticket this time because it's going to be a blast. And the next place I want to go for these young ladies here, we're still waiting for the call. It hasn't happened yet. It might be because he picked Connecticut to win the whole thing. But we want to go to Washington, D.C. We want to go to the Rose Garden. We want to have these kids be honored like true champions. It's very, very special for us to be able to not just take our team there, but we want to take the spirit of Aggieland there. And for everything that y'all done for us, we applaud you. Ladies, stand up and applaud the crowd. Thanks.